Today we're going to take a look at a brand new space RPG. In fact, it is so new that it is not even in early access yet. It is still under active development. So let's go and take a look. Let's see what it's all about. So here we are in the game. We just finished a introduction cutscene. We're playing as Kados. We've recently fallen from grace. We've been sued for some reason. Um, and now we're basically just left with a scrap ship and looking for work. <laughs> a good place to start a space adventure, I guess. Look, if I put in a word with the station master there, promise me you'll give them a chance. We both know you don't want to call the red faces in on this. Okay, so not everything is voiced. A lot of it seems to be voiced, which for a small indie game like this is actually quite uncommon. Um, it's usually text-based or AI-generated voice, but actually having people... Either this is an extremely good uh, voice AI, or they actually have people voice acting it. Okay, pretty straightforward mission. We are escorting a... someone, something, to what's something called Spool and Train Yard. Not sure what that is, but I'm sure we'll figure that out. And if I can find my ship... Here we go. I should be able to head into space. There we go. We are in... Pat told me we had new Star oh. Chasers joining. Welcome to the Idol Smashers. Rishan. Call me Cardoz. All right then, Cardoz will form on you. That's Current awesome. objective is to yes. rendezvous with the rest of the convoy at Agonite, then on to Spolin. Okay. Agonite, then Spolin. Got it. Enemy in range. Opening fire. Oh, okay. So my... Squ oh, that's neat. So my squad's that's following me around if i fire at something they will find the same direction that's actually pretty neat and the neck the, this one down here said spool and train yard that's where we're going i am making a decision and going into the lower one and hoping that i am correct let's see something's going on here at least oh yeah that looks about right yeah cool So, hold on. Lock target. Let's get to work. I'll do lock target again. Oh, how nice. It reminds me left mouse button to select target. Got it. And then pew pew it. Pew pew pew. Whee! Okay, another one. Another! If you double tap, you can do like a dash, a side dash, and I can't hit anything. Okay, maybe I could. I am wondering, can we change view here? Um, camera? No, not C for camera. Oh, here we go, B for view. That's better. Oh, she's, oh, she's running away. One thing I've already noticed is that a lot of time when there is a bit of downtime in the game, when you're traveling or you're just moving from A to B or whatever, they present you with a little bit of lore. And that's actually something you rarely see in indie games. That's quite nice to see. Um, I should probably also present the um, the developer of the game. It's a guy called Trainvis. Some of you guys may know him, no sign of him. For, um, for some of the mods Everyone that he's done ready. for Skyrim and Morrowind and Fallout and that kind of thing. He's been very active in the modding community. And this is, I believe, the first time he's making a, um, like, standalone game. Hold on, wait, it has... Could we... Can we auto... Can I just press F? Oh, I, I can't. I can just press F and it will auto chase it. I think. Not very well, though. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do this manually. That's easier. You'll want to head to Rick and Rend and get yourself outfitted. I can't tell you what's coming, but I can tell you it's not going to be easy. Okay. Take care of yourself, Speakerson. Forming on you, you. Woohoo! Okay. Mission completed. Make it back to Rick and Rend for loot and stuff and things. I got a guide. The developers gave me a guide. So that I could, <laughs> could 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 help me figure out how the game works. Um, B apparently gives me a like um, like a long range scan if I hold it down. So pressing B once just gave me like looted cargo. But if I press and hold B, 
Oh, right, look at that. We got two signals there, a hostile and a friendly. Now, I am just going to go towards the friendly. Oh, hold on, I can see something in there. I saw something right there. Just a second ago. Did you guys see it too? Now, I have no idea what this is. Hmm, I can dock with it. Oh, oh, okay. There's an actual little docking port we have to fly into. I like that, okay. Let's see what this is. Okay, big space station. So the space station are divided into areas and it seems, at least for now, that the way you travel between them... See, that's my ship. It's just using the F key, so right now I'm area F2. You have F3, 4, 5 and 6 up there at the top of the screen. And what are you? Equipment dealer. Ooh. Can we buy some of those, some of those big PP weapons now? We can. We have these class 4 slots. Oh, okay, so the weapons also have classes, but they have... They have the... They actually the class, the sunbeams, the same as the sunbeams that we have. Just bigger, and we have the money for them. So, can I just buy cargo? Does it... Okay, does it actually install it? Good. So, let's buy more sunbeams and put on there. There we go. More pew pew. Um... Armor? Armor is 10,000 for extra hull. I'll, I'll buy that too. What about stuff like shields? Ship right. What can we do here? Ooh. Oh, right, right, right. They talked about that. We can customize the look of our ship, I think. And we might even be able to buy a new ship if we want to. We can buy tier 1 fighters. We currently have a tier 0 fighter. Um, okay, let's let's uh, let's let's change the look of this thing. Headlight, headlight should be green. All green. Green is good. There we go. Maybe even not that yellow, but like bordering more orangey, like that. Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh, category one storm just started. Oh my god, what is that? What is going on? What was that? Okay, I need to get out of here. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. There's something in the storm overhead here. What is that? I can see a structure and I have a signal. And there's something big in here. There's something... Also something... Else. I don't like this. I'm flying towards that signal. I don't know what it is, but I'm good going anywhere. That thing is not. Oh, this is some gates. Look at these. These are jump gates. I found a mission board. Bit drop. Resupply. 24,000 for a resupply mission. Difficulty 12. That seems more than I can handle. There's a difficulty 10 one. That pays 20,000. Let's try that. Ooh, look at that. That's back for one of the stations we were at before. And the waypoint says we need to go in that direction. Let's go. Oh, we got more hostiles. Alright. Oh! Whoa! Got you! Come on! Ooh, okay. I think we have made it to the... To the dead drop. Um, but I'm not sure what we're gonna do here. It just got a big health bar, which is slightly concerning. Hmm. Ow. Well, flying into it is not what we do. Collect it with B. Nope. I guess shoot it then. We can shoot it. Okay, then it drops the thing. Okay. Okay, it's a single little tent. We can deal with this. Oh, okay. He's barking out at the... <laughs> I don't know. 
I I was one. I'm out of repair kits and I'm one shot away from dead. My ship is on fire in space. Okay, I think we're gonna make it in one piece, almost. Nice. Hey, there we go. Twenty million pay. Oh, twenty million. Twenty thousand payout. <laughs> we should probably find a way to repair our ship because that took a lot of damage. But now we have some money to actually pay for it. And hopefully the repair cost is going to be less than the value of the mission. Anyway, that is Under Space. I'm going to be linking for this Steam page. As I said, it's not out in early access yet, at least not at the time of this recording. But you can go and wishlist it if you're interested in it, so you'll get a notification when you can go and get access to this game. Really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.